Hey, hey everybody. So today we're gonna to be talking through a combinatorial proof question. So in terms of combinatorial proofs, your proof is gonna pretty much have three main categories. So we're gonna have a story, a right-hand side and a left-hand side. So high level, what is going on? So a story is essentially saying, what are both of the sides counting? So basically in the context of this class, a lot of the times that's gonna mean you're gonna be counting objects or like animals or like something along those lines. So for example, like, in this case, your right-hand side story could be like if you have a group of two n people and you're picking n of those. So it's not what we're gonna use exactly in this case, but that's just to give an example. After you do the story, you're gonna explain how the left-hand side and the right-hand side, each of those are counting the same thing as what's going on in your story. And as a result, in the end, you're gonna be able to conclude that since both the left-hand side and the right-hand side count the same thing that your story is explaining, they must be equal. So that was pretty abstract. So let's start with an example. So in the context of this proof, what we're going to want to do is start with our story. So a lot of the times for figuring out what the story is exactly, I like to take, I like to take a look at the equality and specifically the side that's a little less complicated. So that would be the 2n choose n side. Based off of our hint, consider a story that has two defined groups, each of size n. So let's do that. So consider a group of 2n animals. where n of these animals are dogs and n of them are cats, right? So by starting off with our story, we know essentially what we want to explain. So we're gonna try to explain how, explain how the left-hand side counts that and how the right-hand side counts that. So between the two, the right-hand side looks a little bit simpler. So let's start with that. So two n choose n. Well, the way we can think of this is that in a group of two n animals, so in a group of two n animals, n of which are cats, and n are dogs, let's pick n to form a committee. So one interesting thing to note is that in the context of this specific proof, our story and our right-hand side were more or less identical. And this is something that you may or may not see. And a lot of the times with the combinatorial proofs, it is the case that your story is pretty similar to one of the sides, but I wouldn't expect that every time. But now moving on to our left-hand side, which is a little more complex. A lot of the times when we start with summations, it's kind of hard to conceptualize. So what I like to do is kind of break it up, right? So what's actually going on here? Well, the first term would be k equals zero. n choose zero times n choose n plus n choose one, right? So one way we can think about this is that we're almost addressing it by cases, which is a lot of the time what is happening in summation. So in this case, what we're doing is we're saying, okay, pick zero from the first group. So we're saying pick zero from the first group. And let's say that first group is the cats. And then the second case, we're saying, okay, pick N from second group. And that would be the dogs. And essentially what's happening here, high level would be, is that if we split up all the possible selections into cases. So if we're trying to pick N animals, at any given point, we can pick k dogs and then n minus k cats. And in total, that would give us our group of n. So that's essentially what the left-hand side is counting. So now writing it a little more formally, we're gonna say our left-hand side is consider all cases where we pick n. So we're gonna pick k cats and n minus k dogs. And essentially the sum of those, so k plus n minus k is gonna give us n. And that tells us that we're still picking a group of size n. So if we consider all the cases where we pick k cats and n minus k dogs, starting off that would mean, okay, well, let's pick zero and one. So in this first case, we're saying, okay, 
pick zero cat or pick zero cats, so k is equal to zero, and then pick n minus k, which would be n dogs. And we're saying okay. Now let's pick one cat and n minus k dogs. And we're going to keep on adding those terms until we get n choose n times n choose zero. And this would be your k is equal to n case. And that's where we're picking n cats and zero dogs. Well, this expression simplifies to the sum from k is equal to zero to n of n choose k, n choose n minus k. So essentially, what we're saying is that the right-hand side counts the number of committees by cases. And so essentially what that does is establish that, or the final part of our combinatorial proof, which is that the right-hand side and the left-hand side count the same number of things. So really quickly, just to recap what we did. So we first started by looking at the left-hand side and the right-hand side, and from that kind of crafting a story, which explains what's going on in our equality. In our expression, we saw that between the two sides, the right-hand side was a little bit easier to work with, which is something you'll see a lot. And then we wanna start with that easier side. And in this case, the story on the right-hand side turned out to be pretty similar. After that, we looked at the other side and explained how that also counted the same thing as the right-hand side. So essentially, the combinatorial proofs that you're going to be working with in this class can be formatted in those three main categories. Thanks for watching.